All right, welcome, welcome everybody. This is Brian Almaso coming at you live for the, the Vive Pace Setter training. We're doing a little bit of a, a change of gears here, as you guys saw in the text and emails. I was talking with Matt Payne and, um, and Kenny. What we're trying to do is be more efficient with our time and have, you know, do more productive things and less, less watching of things. So um, we're going to go through a little bit of an outline tonight. One of the big things that's on the tip of everybody's mind is obviously – you know, how to rank up and how to get to pace setter. Uh, for those of you who know what's going on, you know that it's a pretty big deal. Uh, if, if you don't know what's going on, we're going to use this webinar to really highlight what that means and what's going on with Vive. So I'm going to go through that. And then we're also going to get us some text blitzing. And um, what we've decided to do is, you know, we have quite a bit of recorded webinars. We have a, a little six-minute video from Rob. We have an 11-minute video from Brendan. A couple of uh, sort of medium-length promotional uh, business webinar videos, and we have some long ones too. We have a bunch of recorded long ones that I've done, and Rob and Brendan. So we have a lot of, lot of videos now to show this business. So uh, what we're going to do on Tuesday nights, instead of showing the business per se, is to get together and train. And we were doing text blitzing on Saturday mornings, which is working out well. But now the sun's shining, and quite honestly, like Matt was saying to me the other day, that's a great time to be out with, um, in front of clients, getting customers showing the business, uh, you know, having a beer, signing a, signing a bill. It's summertime's here. So uh, I think it's a better use of time to text bliss on Tuesday night. So we really decided to combine Tuesday nights into a training. But more specifically, we're going to gear it towards training for pace setter. And I'm going to get into why we're going to do that. And then also we're going to kind of clarify, you know, where the tools are, what to use, how to show the business. Because um, obviously this is a startup, so they don't, they don't have like a fast start. Uh, it's coming out shortly. We're going to create one. But I want to get you guys as efficient as possible and also understanding how to get the pace setter. So let me, uh, let me start off by sort of explaining why we're so excited about getting to pace setter and what's going on there. And you can see here they're doing a promotion. It's called the Even Better Summer. And I don't know if you've seen the slide deck or not, but um, they're basically putting together a summer promotion to really explode this company in, in a ton of ways. And the tip of the sword here is they've, they've lowered the entry fee. It's normally $199 to become a consultant. Um, but if somebody enrolls in an even better bundle, meaning they, meaning they sign up for products, which we, we are highly encouraging because, you know, how do you market something that you don't understand, right? Uh, they can choose to be a consultant, you know, get their bundle, and they can, they can um, drop $100 off their enrollment. And I think this is only for two more weeks. So this promotion's ending in two weeks. They might extend it, maybe not, but let's not assume so. So that's, that's one small thing that we're doing here is, is making the enrollments a lot easier. But the other thing they're doing that's absolutely amazing and, and massive and huge, and I didn't fully understand it at first. When I dug into it, I almost fell off my chair, is they have this Founders Circle promotion. And what they're really doing here is, is launching the company. And what they've done is they've, They've set aside 2% of corporate profit sharing based on commissionable volume. And I'm going to give you some scenarios of what that could mean. And what they did is they, they set that aside for a small group of people that rank up to pace setter, which is, it's only in the first third of the ranks. It's, it's not even a middle rank. It's a first third of the ranks. Um, so it's very achievable. So people that rank up to pace setter in this period of time are going to be part of a pool of people that share 2% of the corporate profit sharing. Now, let me just paint the scenario. They, they estimate that, that only around 50, maybe 60, let's say 50 to 100 people um, during this promotion will rank up to pace setter. And it's not because it's that hard to do. It's because the company's brand new and there's, there's just not that many people in it, right? So the idea is I want you to picture. Now, the prior company that I was with, um, in the first five years of operation, I think they, they got up to over 300 million in volume. And right now, Vive is structured in such a way with, with much more products, uh, better commissions, for everything about it is easier to sell better products. I mean, especially with autopilot, and we get the travel now too. Um, so I can see that Vive's going to um, easily outpace that past business. And the reason why I say that is I want you to just get an idea that as Vive starts to grow and they go past 100 million, 200 million, 300 million in volume, 400 million, right? That 2%, if you were to take, let's say in a couple of years, $300 million in volume, 2% of that is $6 million. 
right? Now, if you take that 2% and you divide it amongst the people that qualify to be a pace setter in this founder circle promotion, let's say 70 people made it, right? I'm just going to get my calculator out here. If you divide 6 million into 70 people, just bear with me for a second. Should have picked some easier math. Okay, it's about an, that's almost an $86,000 profit sharing check, right? Now, I want you to think about this because this is different than all the other forms of profit sharing that we have. The, you know, when you get to partner, you get 2% in the pool, but that's on profits. That's after the company spends money on research and development and buildings and people and employees. That's on profits. And it's also not limited, right? Anybody that gets to partner is in that pool. So you'll eventually have hundreds and even thousands of people sharing that pool. It's still an amazing benefit. I'm just trying to say what they're doing here in the founder circle, it's only going to be a handful of people that will ever qualify in the history of Vive. Right now, imagine once we go past, you know, $500 million and their, their goal is to hit a billion dollars. These 2% profit sharing checks will, will go into the six figures pretty quickly for people that rank up here. So I, I, the reason why I'm harping on this so much is this is like a lottery ticket. And I heard Rob McFadden say that one of his presentations. And it's really no joke because it's not really all that hard to get to pace setter. Now, it's work, but it's not like getting to like diamond executive with 40,000 people in your team. You could get here with 30 to 50 people in your team that are working. And, you know, and, and, you know getting better life bundles themselves, you know, getting accounts. Um, you know, getting some commercial accounts. So it's not that big of a push. So it's, it's reachable for everybody. And we're all members here. So we're all, we're all part of this group. The other thing that I want to mention is this is also going to be an amazing recruiting tool. You want to get very well versed in this founder's circle and how to present it to somebody that you're showing the business. Because between now and August 31st is the open window for people to be able to participate in this. So if you sponsor somebody in the middle of August, they will have four months from their start date to qualify and rank up to pace setter. And we're going to go through that a little bit later in the presentation here. So I just really, really want to highlight this to you guys and have you share this recording with your team. Because once it goes, it goes. And people are going to be jumping out of buildings for missing this when they understand what it is. So I've been on the phone with a lot of people personally just highlighting uh, letting them know it's like you want to do a 90 to 120 day push like you've never even done in any business ever, right? This doesn't want to be the normal business building effort. You, you don't want to miss this. Because um, like I said, once you, once you make pay setter and you qualify for that 2%, you have it for life. It's going to be a quarterly paycheck for life. And uh, it will be a paycheck that people will be able to quit their jobs on. Right, so normally in network marketing, you might have to work two, three, four, five years to build up an income that surpasses your normal income so that you can quit and go full time. That's not going to be the case with this. People are going to do this in months just from this one commission, not to mention the half a dozen or dozen other pay ways that we get paid on top of all this. So uh, I think you can hear in my voice that, that uh, I'm trying to really stress how important this is. and I want you guys to understand it, right? And this is what it is here, right? An exclusive pool participation that benefits from 2% of the commissionable volume from the entire company right now and in the future. So these will start off as small checks and then year two, year five, right? And we go past a billion dollars. These checks are just going to get bigger and bigger. And they'll be getting to a quarter million, half million dollar checks, right? As the company grows and grows. Uh, and there's a lot of other uh, recognition and being an elite member. There's other benefits too, but uh, really, the big one here is that 2%, that, that uh, profit sharing. So I really want you guys to understand what it is and really want you to uh, share it with your teams and share this video recording. Um, so that's enough about that. I'm gonna, uh, let me open up a different chart here and show you guys a little bit about Pace Setter. And I want to see if, let me see if Mr. Matt Payne's on here yet. He is not. I got to get him to chime in at some point too. Or maybe, uh, maybe Lisa, you could help me out because. My understanding is they lowered the requirement that it takes to make pace setter. Uh, I'm going to bring up the normal chart that we have. And um, are you talking? Are you talking about the point, like the line requirement, Brian? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So let me let me pull up what we have, and then I'll uh, 
I, I believe I understand it correctly, but I want to just make sure, and at least you can double check me there. Uh, let me pull this up. Just bear with me for a second. Let's see. Bear with me. I just got to find a, uh, a PowerPoint that has that in it. All right. There we go. Let me just get to the uh, commission structure here. Taking a little while to load, guys. Probably get the, uh, the Zoom meeting running. Just bear with me. Okay, here we go. All right, let me share the screen. All right, can you guys see that there? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, so you can see here that at pace setter, normally it says you need three. Uh, P320s, and my understanding is they lowered that to getting three P160s. Is that correct, Lisa? That's what I'm showing on the latest chart. Yeah, that, that's what I saw on the latest chart. So I don't have that slide, but it's it's quite a big difference. It's quite a big difference. So what that means is, I mean, if you look at a P160, right? A P160 has three consultant 40s. And a consultant 40 is just one person that has two people that are basically their own customers. So it's a team of three people. So this is not a big requirement. It's not a big requirement. It's not, it's not that many people, you know? So the structure component of this is just P three P one sixties. They want to get three people, right? That each have three people that have two people and build. Obviously you don't want to, you know, focus on the minimum, but uh, if you have three people working, and they understand this challenge and this, this pace setter uh, goal, then you'll be in business. And what we want to do is obviously get them plugged in. So I'll get a better slide of this and we'll circulate this. I know it's kicking around somewhere, but just understand that it used to be, you know, you had to get three P320s, which is a whole different level, right? A P320 has three C80s. It's just, it's just more of a structure. So that in itself is, is, is you know, quite a gift in structure to make that happen. Um, so we'll get some more stuff on that. So I just want you to understand what that is. And then what we're doing here for the weekly method of operation, instead of having a, a Saturday morning tech splits and a, and a, a Thursday uh, night tech splits and you know, a Tuesday business presentation, what we're doing is just kind of whittling it down. We want to do more work, right? More reaching out to people and using the tools that we have. So Matt and I were chatting about, um, you know, having Tuesday nights really be a training, a pace set of training followed by a tech splits like we used to do on Saturdays. Matt was saying he was getting a lot more people to show up on a weeknight than on a Saturday morning, especially now that it's summer here too. So I agree with that. So from here on in at seven o'clock, we're going to be having these trainings where we're going to be tech splitsing and building, sharing information, tracking who's getting, you know, close to pace setter, um, setting up three-way calls, um, teaching commercial, teaching residential, every, you know, we're just going to train together and, and really commit to getting the pace set up together as we go. Um, and I, I had a talk with, it's funny, I was talking to Matt yesterday. I, I texted Rob McFadden saying that we need to combine the, the, the two different webinars on Mondays that Beav is having. And it, I guess he already did that. He, he had the same thought and they did that on Monday. So even they understand it's like we need more time out in front of people and less time on webinars. 
So they're going to be much more straight to the point, much more effective and, you know, more training. So that being said, uh, we're, we have a lot of tools that we can use to show the business, right? Um, Joe, Joe Dirac uh, pointed out to me today, they have a six minute video that I can share. I'll actually share it in the chat here as we go. Uh, let me pull this up. Uh, there's a six minute sort of teaser video that Rob McFadden did that, that you can drop on somebody to spark the interest in the business. It doesn't really talk about compensation, but it's a, uh, it's a good quick escalation tool to pique somebody's interest. So let me, uh, let me get that for you guys. I'll put that in the chat. I'm going to share a few things with you in the chat so you have it. Let's see. Bear with me for a second, guys. I'm just going to transfer it from my phone. Hey, Joe, do you happen to have that handy? Was that the video? Yeah, the six minute, that uh, Vimeo one. I thought I had the link, but I think I might have. Yeah, I think I do. Huh? Yeah, why don't you type that in the chat? I think I inadvertently uh, erased it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a, a, a short list of tools here that you can use. Uh, this one that I'm typing in here now. This is an 11 minute video by Brendan Kenny. If you go to, if you go to sharevive.com, you'll see that they have a, a very short, nicely done 11 minute video. And it actually talks about the founder's circle, the summer promotion. So that's a real good one to get familiar with. And you can use that as a tool. And uh, this is no different than before. When I, when I share a video with somebody, what I do is I get on zoom with them and watch it with them, or I at least get on the phone and watch it with them. I don't just send links out to people, right? We, we all know that doesn't work too well. Um, yeah, there you go. So it's on ShareViv. Oh, well, ShareViv separate, but then there's that, yeah. that last link there, is it? Yeah, yeah. so Share ShareViv is, um, when I call them escalation tools, you can peak interest with some of the shorter videos, and then you can use some of the longer videos if somebody's interested, right? So we still have a bunch of, recorded business trainings that I've done, that Rob's done, that Brendan's done. They're all recorded. Uh, if you guys need those, we can get them out to you. I'll actually share one that I did. I'm going to do an updated one uh, that you guys can have that talks about the uh, this promotion here. Uh, let's see. Well, this is this is a short one that I did. Uh, it doesn't talk about the the summer promotion, so I'll do a new one. Oh, let's see. There we go. Just a short video there. Um, so it's really important you guys get familiar with these tools, so you have the videos. And the thing that's been working the best is really peaking interest, sharing a video, and then getting somebody on the phone as a third party, using your upline or your sideline. Um, that's been working really, really well. Uh, and for those of you guys that have been doing that, you, you, know, you, know, you know how that works. And we've been having a lot of success with that. So make sure you're using your, your, your escalation tools and your upline and, and you know, letting us help you close some of these deals. Um, the other thing, guys, is um, there's a Facebook, the, um, the Vive updates on Facebook. A ton of information there. They, they always have the latest and greatest videos there. Make sure you guys are plugging into all these things so you know what you have, uh, especially with this pace setter promotion. Because um, the way it works is we're all in our – everybody on this webinar right now, we're in our first month, right? And the idea is that you have, you have June, July, August, and September. So by the end of September, you want to be ranked up to pace setter, right? So you want to get into your back office, understand where you're at, understand what it takes to get to pace setter and, and, and know what you're doing, right? Know what your goal is and know what you need to do. 
know what your next rank is and, and the people that are on your team, what, what do they need to do to get to consultant 20, consultant 40, right? These are all little building blocks that you need. And quite honestly, guys, the biggest thing that we need to do, uh, number one, ourselves, if you haven't signed up for the Better Life Bundle, um, I would do that, right? Th this business has no monthly fees to it. And it gives us 12 points. But most importantly, guys, you can't market something that you have no idea what it is. So you're fooling yourself. If, if you're in this business and you just got autopilot and that's all you're going to get, you're fooling yourself if you think you're going to be successful and be able to sell these other products without experiencing them, right? This is no different than anything in life. So uh, I would I'd strongly suggest you, you, you sign up for a Better Life Bundle. I mean, when you get all the components at once, it cuts down to 69 bucks a month. You save like $95. Um, so I'd highly recommend you do that. But then other than that, it's about reaching out to the people in our team and explaining the same thing, right? People can't market something if they don't know what it is. So we want, we want to help people understand what we're marketing. The products are uh, amazing. I mean, there's certain products that obviously I won't use, but you end up getting like half of them for free. And I am going to use obviously autopilot when, when the water comes out, I'm using that. I travel all over the place. So I'm using getaway, uh, conceal. I'm using that. Because uh, that that um, is credit protection, uh, cloud cash is computer backup. Like, I'm using most of these now. I never had AAA, right? But now I have I have road assistance for pennies. So why not why not use some? Why not have something like that for flat tires and vehicle fixes and stuff like that? So just um, you know, I urge you guys to get really familiar with the products. You know, get that bundle, but then reach out to the people that are in your team and explain to them the business we're in. Um, I. I equate this pace setter thing. When they, when they did this, when I understood it, like I said, I almost fell over. This is like being in the early days of Uber, having an inside scoop, being a founder in Uber, right? This, this is how you want to approach people. Say, so listen, I don't care if you do this or not. I want you to understand what I'm presenting to you. Understand where this is at. And even people that are in network marketing already, I've never seen a promotion like this in any company ever where you can get such a big piece of the company for a few months of work. So I would, I'm going to be using this when I'm talking to people. They, now they're either going to see it or not, but they're going to understand in my voice. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that I do my job explaining to them the opportunity that's in front of them. So this is, this is not just an opportunity for you. It's also um, a promotional tool to promote the company. So if people are on the fence, well, maybe I'll join after summer's over. Promotion's done. It's gone. Chance is gone, right? Um, so this, this is something to get people off the fences and in, in, into the game. Um, so make sure you, make sure you guys are setting goals. We're going to do open chat after this too. So you guys can ask questions and, and we'll, we'll let you know exactly what it takes. Right. Um, so basically guys, we're reaching out, uh, using several methods, uh, obviously your phone, your Facebook, uh, LinkedIn is another very good source. And then there's a, there's an app called shaper that a lot of us have been using. That's, that's really, really good. We can, Get into that in a little bit if you guys don't know what that is. Uh, so you want to peak interest, share a video, watch it with them. And then the best thing I would suggest if, you, if you're not comfortable closing is get on a three-way call with either me, Matt, Kenny, you know, Brad, Lisa, I mean, Jeff. There's tons and tons of people. Brendan, Kenny, anybody, up light or side light, uh, would be happy to help you. Eric Reed's been doing really well. Um, and let us do this as a, as a community, as a family, right? Let the people that you're showing this business – see that it's a team effort, that they have support. Like right away, they'll have support. Uh, that would be my recommendation. Um, and then set a goal to get some customers. Uh, this has been the easiest customer gathering thing that I've ever done in my life. I had two people today text me, Maddie was with me, text me their bill, right? Because we're, we're no longer, you know, we're not a third-party energy company, so we don't have all the legalities. Now, I don't suggest you just try to get people to text you your bill. Uh, these are past clients of mine, but I'm just saying it is such a no-brainer to switch to autopilot that people are just, if you explain it right, they'll get it, and you'll be, you'll be putting customers in like crazy. So you want to get out there and make sure you get a minimum of 30 customer points. Now, again, if you're getting your Better Life Bundle, you're going to have 12 points right out of the gate. And if people in your team are doing that, you're going to pick up all kinds of points. You'll be past 30 like nothing. So the very first thing you guys want to do is find out the amount of points you have and then get to 30. And I mean, get to 30 this week, right? We don't have a year to do this challenge. We have four months. Actually, we have three and a half months because half this month's over, right? So make sure you set a goal, get the points that you need, 
by getting some customers and then, you know, help people in your team do the same thing, right? Uh, another thing, guys, and I need to do more of this myself, is get very familiar with your back office. Obviously, I was gone for three weeks and this whole thing was going crazy. But you want to get familiar with your back office so you're not pestering your upline with silly little login questions or what about this product or what about that product? We don't, you don't need it. We don't need it, right? Get familiar. It's your business. Um, get on Facebook. Understand the business you're in. Understand the tools you have. Um, so that you're, not, you're not flooding your upline with nonsense, you know, clerical questions, right? It's, it's a business. It's your business. This is my business. Uh, we want to treat it like that. Um, what else we got here? Oh, there's one other thing too. We have a YouTube channel um, called the Vive Success Network YouTube channel where I have a lot of videos. I'm going to be posting new ones there as well. That might quite likely go away at some point as we merge with Share Vive. Uh, but there are some good tools on there. And it's another resource for you guys. There's a lot of trainings on there um, and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a YouTube channel called Vive Success Network that you want to get familiar with. So what I want to do from here, guys, is just really open up for Q&A and also do some text blitzing. Help you guys reach out, book some appointments for customers and for, um, for potential prospects. So why don't we go ahead and open up the lines here. And, and Matt or Kenny, Jeff, anybody wants to chime in? about this promotion anything i missed lisa go ahead and just chime in hey brian it's lisa first i'd like to say welcome back it's amazing to see your face <laughs> Matt, you did a very nice job um holding the fort down but uh it is nice to see you so welcome back and congratulations yeah, it's good to be back it really is I'm, uh, I'm i'm excited to just crush this um and the uh i'll just throw in with the 30 customer points i don't know if i didn't hear you mention it you may have but I think Rob said on Saturday, people have until July 15th to do that. But like you said, do it this week. And that's $150 right there. Oh, it's an additional bonus. Yeah. It's a bonus for getting your 30 um, customer points within your first 60 days. Okay. Um, anybody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Cause he said until July 15th. And that was kind of like any building block he discussed was like tap rooting and making sure like you're saying, People on the team, you know, everyone's getting their 30 points. Yeah. Um, so that was one thing. And then I put the updated compensation plan at a, at a glance in the chat box for people. It's in the back office, but I threw it up there as well. Yeah, make sure you guys are paying uh, attention to the chat, especially on the recording, because I'm going to post that. So that's, you know, get 30 customer points by July 15th, right? So this is, this is a great way to build a business anyway. And we used to do this and it was very highly successful. When somebody joins, teach them how to get customers. Go out and get a bunch of customers with them. Friends, family. I mean, we're putting in massive commercial. It, it, it's such a joke to get customers. It's not even funny. Get them yourself and help your people get their customers. Get past the 30 points. They get a bonus. Uh, everything just works, right? You get your bonuses. They get their bonuses. They get some customers. They're getting paid. It just all works. They're feeling good. And then they just got to go do the same thing. So I, I love this. It's really getting back to the basics of, of business building, right? Get the, and then share it and, and help other people do the same thing. Um, that's a fabulous, fabulous post for anyone that's on social media that you can use to pique curiosity. You know, I'm so excited. I just hit my first company bonus of $150. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Name of the company, no nothing, but then people are going to start watching you make this money and it's just, you know, it's, it's great on so many levels. That's a great point. It's uh, and Lisa's become an absolute master at social media. We're going to do some more trainings with her, um, including a very long deep dive because she's just become a complete ace with it. And um, her and Corey and some other people, I think Matt are part of a, uh, a really, really good training uh, from Ray Higdon called the rank makers. So if you guys are new in network market or even seasoned and and you're not, uh, if you need a little bit of a daily kick in the butt, if you need to know what to do, they get on every single day and they coach you and they give you things to do every single day for your business. So I highly recommend that Rake Makers platform. And um, if anybody needs info on that, just give one of us a buzz. Um, Brian, we can put together some more fun promotions because we still have eight subscriptions left that we can give away. Okay. Subscriptions. So we can oh, okay. So what, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I got it. I got it. What do you got? Maybe uh, the person who, uh, who, who does the most up calls. 
not not takes up calls, but the person who shows the business the most time and and uses an up call. That might be a good. It might be a little hard to track. Um, I was thinking of making it maybe rank based, like like people the first person to get to promote a one sixty. I think we could even make it. We've got a limited time to use them, Brian. So I think that uh, you know. I think we could probably do a handful of promotions so that if there's somebody that's really, you know, comfortable and selling at getting customers, okay. then maybe they're awarded. If there's someone that's good at, you know, showing the business and getting a three-way, then let's do one for that. How long if do we have before those promotions run out? Oh, do we have to use them? Um, I, it was, I, I think we can probably get another couple of months out of it. If we tell okay. them what's going on, okay. then we'll probably get a little bit longer. Why don't we do a couple of things today? If we have eight of them, uh, I definitely want to do um, excluding Matt and Kenny. <laughs> um, first person to hit promote a 160. It's an interim rank. We'll get one of those. Let's keep track of that. Um, and then Matt, what were you suggesting? I mean, these are, these are kind of a big deal, so... I think people, you know, because everything that we're hearing right now, all the positive stuff that's going on with uh, our, our friends up in um, Maryland uh, without autopilot, they're, they're having great success, but they're showing that video and they're doing three. They went back to three-way calls. Right. Which which video are they showing? The one on Cher Vive? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's I, real basic. Real basic, guys. Basic. I just used it right now. That's why I'm late. You know, I'm showing some of the business now. And yep. um, truthfully, it was... Um, um, you know, after really just sitting out, I don't know if it's quite what I'm personally looking for. You know, I think it was a little bit vague, but it gave enough of the information that if someone's interested, they'll ask for more. Yeah. If they're not interested and then they're just not going to, you know? Yeah. Yep. I thought that was a little too vague at first. I was hesitant, but I used it. I mean, I, I talk with Ryan Briggs a lot, him and Ed, and um, they told me, like Ed was on a coach on a three way with me on Saturday, and showed that video, and it went so seamless. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that, and I did it um, on my own today, and the person right away was like, yes yeah, I want to do this. It's like, I want to talk to my wife about it just to make sure first, but I'm calling him um, on Thursday at his lunch break from work and we're going to seal the deal. Like, it's well, that's what he says because we never know. But it yeah, the only uh, the trick there, Corey, and I think you know this. Uh, if you anybody that's been studying Eric War, you know that spousal rejection kills fifty percent of all network marketing deals. So just make sure you probably did this. I'm I'm not. I'm sure you followed the right protocol. I just want to mention this to everybody else. Whenever somebody says they got to speak to their spouse, you want to be pretty adamant about being. Let's do it together. Right. Because what happens is, and I've had this, I had it happen to me in my early days in network marketing, but not only happened twice. And then I, I, I studied and, and read and figured out what was up. But um, a full 50% of people that would normally do network marketing don't do it because of spouse rejection. 50% right. of the people that you get to say yes won't do it because they go home all excited and they try to explain to their spouse this excitement and they say, What the hell are you getting scammed into? Their paradigm's kicking. They don't have a clue. It's getting lost in translation. The whole thing turns to shit. And I'm not, like, like I said, Corey, I'm sure you probably pushed that you need to be with them, but I wanted to highlight that for everybody else. So, guys, make sure if you have somebody that's excited and they're gonna, they need to talk to their spouse, and they, that's a perfectly legitimate thing, say, be honest with them. Say, you know what? This whole thing, you and I just spent 20, 30 minutes, is going to get lost in translation, and they're going to think you've lost your mind. <laughs> just be honest. Let's do this together. I want to be there. I want to be able to answer questions. It doesn't matter to me if you guys do this or not. I just want to make sure that your spouse gets the correct information and I can answer questions that you won't be able to answer. See, honesty is, is the best policy. Whenever I talk, I imagine mean, do it all the time. How do you say no to that? Like the guy's just trying to help me show this. So make sure you guys are doing that. Make sure you don't lose half your business to spousal rejection, you know. Uh, so that's a great point there. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, guys, too, I'm going to I'm going to create a similar version to that, 
just with, with my flavor, just so you have different things, whatever you resonate with, you can use. Um, so and I, I know Jenna's going to do one. There's going to be a lot of different people doing videos that you can get in tune with and you can custom select, you know, for different personalities, which video you want to show. So a lot of good tools coming. I have a question real quick. Um, I don't have, I have a um, image of the points that we receive for NCP for different products, um, but I don't have a point value for Home Secure. Do you have any idea what point value that is? I don't. Um, I got 10 for your first one, I believe, and eight for anyone after. Is that what it is? I believe so. I was told today it's 10. 10 for your first one. 10 right from Vive itself. Okay. Nice. I'll tell you right now for sure. Do you, you get somebody on the hook? I've never seen it in print. So. Uh, do you get somebody on the hook for that? or? I got my own. Oh, today. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Did they install that today, Corey? What? Did they install that today? Yes. I mean, it, there's a whole it, bunch of people here. Could you please just tell everybody how, like, I'm not trying to take up the rest of the webinar, but, like, how did it go? It is awesome. Like, it's so amazing. First of all, the person who came to do it was so incredible. He was so nice and so patient and so informative. Like, he really helped me. There was a couple points where I was like, I don't know. What do you think, Brent? Like asking him, like, what would you do? And he told me and just really, really helpful. And their, their technology is so fantastic. Like I had it on my phone, my tablet, my son's tablet, my computer before he was even ready to give me a demonstration. And I was halfway through and he's like, I could show you. And I was like, no, I'm good. I got it. It's very intuitive, huh? Yeah, it's, it's laid out really nice. I put it on my son's tablet and showed him how to operate the lights and the, like everything. And I can customize it for him so he can't touch the door locks, but he can turn the lights on and off. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Like there's, and he, I um, bought more stuff when they were here. I was like, ooh, give me that too. And um, it's just super cool. No, that's awesome. That's, that's a, that's a perfect example, guys, about, you know, getting your Better Life bundles, using some of the products. These are not, you know, bullshit products that you're just trying to push. These are the top level vendors. There's been a lot of research done. Every, every product that I've seen has been at, at, at the highest levels um that that people are naturally going to want to use you know and because we have this bundling technology this bundling capability you're able to take somebody that has an existing service like triple a and literally give them a better service for half the price you know people pay Experian for credit watch and all these things uh legal shields out there right all these other companies and we literally have better products and because they're bundled they end up being cheaper than what they're already spending so that's why, that's why I'm trying to really beat on you guys to make sure you, you try out the products, you get the products. Everybody should have their full, honestly, I think, you know, most everybody here um, has their, has everything. You know, Alan, did you, did you get, you got them all? I think you said last time, I can't hear you, Alan, but you said last time. Just so you guys no, I have, I have, I have everything except for the home security. Well, well, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's a standalone product. That, not everybody's going to get that. But I'm saying all the all the other stuff. <laughs> yes, I have everything. The point system, Brian, is 10, 10 for your first and 7 for everyone after, for anybody. But they pay the same amount as far as upfront bonus. Yeah. Right. And okay. You want to talk about the, one of the reasons why Maryland's doing so well is they, they did 20 in the group. In, uh, in what's his – uh, I'm sorry. I forgot his name. Uh, Ryan Briggs in Ryan's group there was 20 in two weeks yeah so you want to talk about some major points happening right there that's 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 where it comes from 20 uh, home security systems that's right yeah hey Brian yeah Joe I wanted to welcome I see uh, Osmond uh, Graham dropped in uh, and I just met him today and he's 
here. I invited him uh, for the business presentation. So, uh, Osman, I'll get with you uh, some more later, too, if you missed uh, the, the initial part there. But uh, just welcome. He's a IT guy, but at a job for today. So. Yeah, hey, Osman, welcome to uh, our presentation. This is more of a uh, – right now you're hearing sort of uh, about the products, and then uh, we, we kind of shifted gears today because we have a promotion going on that's just absolutely insane um, that Joe, Joe will fill you in on. He can give you a little bit more background on the company and stuff. But um, we kind of did a special meeting today to really highlight this promotion. Um, so if it is if it is something that you see, it'll be something that you want to get educated on, and I'd be happy to get on a call with the, both of you guys, if, you know, Joe, if you want to do that. So uh, great to great to see you, Osmond. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right, guys. Anybody else? Any questions? I don't think we have much time to text, but I got an, an eight o'clock call here too. But um, I wanted to really get this out now. This is recorded. I'm going to share it with you guys. Make sure you get this recording in the hands of your people. I just tell them, say, listen, I don't want you to jump off a bridge four, four months from now because you didn't take the time to understand what we we're doing. Here's the video. Understand what we're doing. And if you want to go to work, you know, you know my number. So that, I'm just, I'm just going to put that in people's hands and let I just, I don't, I hate for somebody to miss this not knowing what's going on, you know. And listen, people are busy. People have lives and they just, well, I'll just, I'll kind of work at a couple hours a week. They ignore this, they ignore that. And um, they don't realize that they're sitting on like the next Microsoft, you know. So uh, let's make sure we, we share this recording and share what's going on. Right, guys? Yeah. Hey, Brian. Um, hey, Shanti, what's happening? Uh, Sandra is here for first time, so I want to welcome her. Oh, hey, Sandra, how you doing? I, I think she, she has a speaker yeah. off. Yeah, she might be muted, but no, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you. You guys are you guys are going to be the tip of the sword down there in in uh, Illinois, you know. Hey, hey, Brian. Yeah. Real quick, you mentioned Shaker, I think it was, an app. Uh, uh, you... There's an app. I'll type it in. It's called S-H-A-P-R. And if you just uh, – there's no E. It's just R. Okay. This app is a brilliant app for networking. And more importantly, um, if you guys know what Tinder is, it's almost like Tinder meets LinkedIn. Right? Tinder is that swiping dating app or the hookup app. Well, and, and LinkedIn is, is like Facebook for business. Well, this app combines both of those. This is a very high-speed networking thing for business all over the world. And you can create a profile in peak interest right in your profile. And all you're doing is, is you're just matching people. You hashtag what you want to connect with. People come up. You read their profile. You swipe left. You swipe right. They do the same thing. If there's a match, you're automatically connected. You can literally go through hundreds of people a day on this app. You just go through the numbers, guys, you know, for the next three months. Um, so there's no, there's no excuse between your phone, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, and Shaper. I don't want to hear anybody say I don't have a warm market because the entire, the entire world is a warm market. That's just, um, you know, you got to get out of your comfort zone maybe, and we can help you do that. But there is no shortage of contacts. So uh, if anybody's struggling with that, we'll, we'll work on that next week for sure. We'll do more, of, uh, more tech splitting and less training next week. I made 11 connections on that app so far, Brian, and I have uh, one person that took the uh, travel, um, uh, the free sites, check it out, you know, nothing yep. crazy. And then I have three people, three or four, I forget, three or four right now that are, are willing to watch something. They don't know anything about it, and I've, I've responded. And sometimes on this app, guys, it takes a little while for people to respond. They don't check it like they do maybe their Facebook or something else. Right. So I send a message, and then literally – 18 hours later, I get a response. You know what I mean? So, um, so it's a, a little slower that way, but I, I definitely have some strangers here that, that are similar minded because all our hashtags are, are similar. Some of them are personal development. Some are, uh, you could literally put an MLM on, on a hashtag and you'll get a whole bunch of MLMers. You know what I mean? So people in the set, you know, or something like that, you could really customize it. It's really cool. So, uh, I'm having really good luck with it so far. Yeah, I haven't built my profile yet. I mean, guys, now Shaper's not the place. If you're if you're new to this, you don't want to start with Shaper. You want to start with your phone, right? You start with the people you know, friends, family, right? Um, but then you know, Facebook is that that's how it's friends, family, then Facebook, then LinkedIn, Shaper. But it is a good place if if, if you know if you're saying, oh, I already went through my network, or if you were in a business before and you went through your network. <coughs> um, you know, none of that really matters if you know how to present what we have because it's a whole new business and it's, uh, it's definitely unique in its own way, but it's, it's another option for sure. 
And I, I probably wouldn't hashtag MLM because you'll get a bunch of people that are already in companies. Unless you want to try to market products to them, I would hashtag like realtors, insurance agents, property managers. You know what I mean? People that are on real estate or energy or that are natural networkers, uh, hashtag recruiters, job recruiters. I hashtag sustainability. That was a good hit. You know, okay. A lot of good on, on that. Um, social good. Um, so there's, there's a, just, you know, think about it. Yeah. A yep. lot of really cool things out there. Awesome. And we can have a training on that too. We can get into Shaper and have a specific, you know, 15 minute training on that. So, so why don't we do this guys, uh, share the word about the time change. This is, you know, if anybody's in this business, they're going to be on this webinar Tuesday nights, barring, you know, barring work or barring a death in the family or something. But if you're trying to get to pace setter, you will be on this training every single Tuesday night working with us, you know, cause that's what we're doing and tell that to the people on your team too. Uh, we're going to give you guys a ton of resources, a ton of help. Uh, we can't do it for you, but we'll definitely do it with you. We'll help you, uh, you know, help you close deals, help you recruit, help you train, whatever we can do. We're here to help. So make sure you guys are using this Tuesday night from here going forward and, and sharing the value. You know, if you, if you fast start a new person, have this, make sure this is part of their weekly method of operation. Hey, listen, in order for this business to work, you know, you got to reach out to a few people a week. You got to get on Tuesday nights, right? Certain things you got to do in any business or any job. So I, uh, what I'm doing personally is sort of mandating that this is part of the training that you're going to want to get on, you know? So it's up to you if you guys want to do the same, but I appreciate you guys all jumping on. Uh, any last questions before we go? Brian, it's Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Just a reminder to people. So we're at least going to start with first person to hit promoter 160. Oh, good call. Yeah. Uh, what else, what else can we think of? Yeah. First person hit promoter. Now Lisa, remind them of what this, what this giveaway is, what the, what the prize is. So, so this giveaway is a one year subscription to rank makers, which is led by Ray and Jessica Higdon. They go in there every single day. They go live, they give uh, training and an action step. Um, myself, Russ, Matt, Cherry, Brad, Corey are all in it. And I think any one of them can vouch for the fact that this, this membership, even paying the few hundred dollars that it is, is worth its weight in gold. Never mind winning it for free. Um, it's amazing. And it is literally a kick in the ass um, for your network marketing business every day. So it, it's pretty awesome. So I think I, I wrote down some ideas, some of the stuff that people had talked about, and I'll text you, Brian. Maybe we can announce what the other um, qualifications will be. But for now, if we just want to say the first person to Promoter 160. Yeah, Promoter 160 would be a good one. We could do the first person to hit 100 personal customer points. I think it would be another good one. I think a lot of you guys are already at 30 or pretty close. That's actually pretty easy to get to. Uh, Matt, what do you think about that? First or, or how about anybody that hits 100? Not just the first person. Anybody that hits 100 personal customer points uh, until until they're gone. Anybody that hits promoter 160 or 100 personal customer points. That, that um, should be it. Yeah, 160 or 100 personal. And that yeah. Way, that way, yeah, if somebody's yep. a recruiter, they can hit it that way. If they're a customer gatherer, they can get it that way. Yep. I like that. All right, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. The only other thing I'll say, I know you have to go, is I will, you didn't mention the Facebook group that we have called Vive Success Network. I know Vive Updates is corporate's group, but Vive Success Network is our team group. A lot of people have come in from a lot of cross lines, teams, et cetera. And what I really want to encourage people to do is if you have a question throughout the week, like not, not only text one of us, you know, for guidance as far as like what to say or if you're stuck, if you need help, but feel free to post it in that group too, because I think this is what they do in rank makers. There's people helping people all day long. And I mm -hmm. think it's pretty valuable to get other people's insights. So if you've got someone, you're not sure what to say, post it in the group. And I know personally for me, I'll get in the habit of checking that group more often, but it would be great to have some of this stuff documented for people coming in so they can scroll through and see kind of like what the questions are and, and what are some of the talking points that people are using. Great, great point. Well, that's a great point. Yes, yeah, so we have the Vive Success Network Facebook page and the Vive Success uh, Network uh, YouTube YouTube pages, YouTube channel as well. So, um, the name of that subscription prize is it's a it's a year subscription to the Rank Makers. It's Ray Higdon's Rank Makers, and that is a um, like I said, they get online and train daily. They give you a daily method of operation. They keep you moving. Um, so if you have questions on what to do, what to say, how to say it. 
they actually get on Facebook Lives every single day. And I would imagine that those are recorded. Huh, Lisa? If you miss it, you can get on you, later on. You can go back and go back, yeah. you, like you can go back. And so while I'm working, while I'm prospecting, I'll go back. I started from the beginning, July 6th, 2017, I think it was, was the first one that he did. But you have access to all of that. There's also a tracker that he has you update the end of Sunday every week. And sometimes he gives away random prizes just for updating it. Even if you put a zero on the board, which is not what we're striving for, but even if you've just completed the tracker, you will get a prize sometimes because the whole point is showing up and holding yourself accountable to that tracker. How many people did I prospect? How many people came into the business? How many customers did I get this week? And so there's literally like in this group, there's almost 40,000 people that are prospected on an almost weekly basis. So it's a great accountability tool on top of a training tool, you know? Awesome. Awesome guys. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to jump off. I'll get one more link here for you guys. Um, for those of you that are in the network ninjas where we're, we're, we're uh, doing a, just a short update webinar. Uh, That's why I'm jumping off at eight o'clock here and there's the link. Uh, we're, we're launching a, a new release and an update. So if anybody's interested in understanding or hearing that, you can jump on there. Um, other than that, guys, um, great meeting. Like I said, look forward to, uh, glad that I'm back. Look forward to kicking some butt with you guys. I'm definitely here to help. Uh, we've closed some, some major commercial energy deals. So if anybody has anything that you um, need help with, uh, we're very well versed in helping people close significant, you know, large commercial energy and solar deals. Um, so make sure you reach out to me or Matt or on, on that. We can get you hooked up and, and closing some big deals. All right, guys. So, uh, thank you everybody for coming. I look forward to seeing y'all at the top and, uh, let's, let's kick some butt. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.